Welcome back to the channel. We'll be modeling the aim point T2 today. It's part of a bigger project that I'm working on. Um, so we'll just go along. It's going to be a raw video again. You'll see all the mistakes that I make. Uh, in the previous uh, video, we made this leap mount. There will be a link on screen to that now. If you, if you haven't seen it yet, we'll use that to make sure that the scale is aligned correctly. If you learn something out of this, if you enjoy this video, uh, please comment, like, subscribe. Uh, if you have any recommendations, please leave them down in the comments. And if you want to buy me coffee, uh, just to say thank you or you learn something, uh, there will be a link to that as well in the description. So otherwise, I uh, hope you learned something out of this and yeah, enjoy the modeling. All right, so we basically have our references set up. Uh, I just made a cube uh, or a rectangle that is 36 millimeters in height, just to make sure that the reference planes line up. If you want to know how to set up reference planes that is in the previous video, you can go through that. I just imported my previous leap mount as well to validate the size. So if you click here and check, then you can see it's pretty much all set up. And then if you have the height, then you can just get the length from here. So pretty easy stuff. All right, let's get into this. Uh, grab a center diameter, click on our plane. This should be good. Grab the line tool. Let's do this. And then I'm not too worried about getting stuff to be perfectly aligned just yet. Um, don't exit the line tool. You first want to fill it. So let's grab these edges and a little bit of a fillet in there. That's good. Let's fill it this tiny edge over here as well. And then this one here as well. And then we can just use the trim tool. Trim all the edges we don't need. So we'll trim that off. Let's see, I want to trim that. Okay, so we have that. And oh, oh, we don't want that. Yeah, we don't want to fill it that just yet. All right, the finish. Let's grab the object and split it. So grab the line and split, delete that, and then we'll split this guy. Uh, in the middle as well. So you can just click and hold X and uh, Y and Z. And then we'll just mirror this over. There we have our base shape. All right. So we'll work from this shape first. Um, and then we'll add this a little bit later. So you can grab a box. Doesn't really matter. Uh, let's grab this face. Let's see. Should be good. Let's get this down a little bit more. The height, we'll, we can just snap that at the bottom here. Grab this guy, move it all the way over here, and we can just say uh, join. And there we have that shape. Good to go. Now, if we look at our reference over here, We'll start with this shape, working with this shape, getting it out. So first we have to have this circular diameter. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the side plane um, to get its circumference here and then uh, copy it over or duplicate it, move it to the top and then uh, create using the sketches. We'll use a line that goes all the way through. We'll create that profile shape over here and then we'll just get that to revolve over there. So if you don't understand what I just said, just well, I'll demonstrate it, don't worry. So let's go to the side. Circle diameter, use the spleen, and yeah, this should be good. Finish the sketch, grab that sketch, and let's grab the sketch. V, move this up, rotate it, negative 90. Move the sketch to the center. You can actually snap this to the center. So basically what you can do is 
you can activate the origin, hold down, and snap it to the YZ. There you go. Now, we need to create that line that goes through here. Use that same sketch. So click on that sketch and it will add. You can draw on that existing sketch already. We'll just use this and that should be good. Finish. Let's trim. And then we'll use the fillet tool to fillet these. Oh. That's not what I want. These should be good. Now we want to use or create the profile. Are we going to extrude along those edges? So um, let's create here. Grab the fillet tool. Grab this guy over here. We actually need to close that shape, so just activate the line tool again. Click on that. You can click on this face, it doesn't really matter. You can click on there, and we have a profile. Let's just move the sketch. Or, whoop, don't grab the point. Let's finish. Grab the sketch. Move. Okay. First, I just want to trim this. this um, on this profile, it doesn't matter. Okay. So now we're gonna go to sweep, select the profile. So this will be our profile. Select the edge. That will be our shape. All right. So let's just get this profile closer. Move this profile and snap it. This point over here. I forgot that it actually extrudes from a point, like so. Actually uses the length. So just use the sweep again. Select our profile, which is this guy. Select our curves. That looks about right. So we can actually move this guy out a little, but we'll do that afterwards. So we'll just use it, make it a new body. Let's just use cut first and see what happens if we choose perpendicular, which I think will be a more accurate shape. Uh, so parallel, oh, perpendicular, so perpendicular will actually follow the curve, it will move along the curve, it won't stay in one in one axis, um, so let's use perpendicular as it will be more accurate, oh, yeah, don't click confirm just yet, uh, Okay, so that's cool. Let's use new body. So this new body, I just want to do opacity control real quick and just move this guy out a little bit. So you can see there, we just want a little bit of a gap over there. That's a little bit better. So now we can just cut it using that and good to go. So now we have that shape, which I think is good. Uh, obviously, if you want to uh, move this in a little bit to match, you can just match a little bit closer to the reference. We can open the move tool on face select and we can just push this in. Three. So let's just hide the sketch. You create a sketch and you extrude from it, it will automatically hide itself after you use it. But if you duplicate from that sketch and you don't use it, then it will stay. So you, you obviously want to. Um, just hide it. Oh, and let's just hide the origin again. So let's just, we can get a little bit to the side. Hmm, doesn't want to move. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at all. Uh, just hide the origin. Okay, this is annoying. Okay, I'm just going to save and close real quick. All right, so we're loaded up again. So um, I figured, or I think the problem was that why we couldn't move this is why is because we were still in pivot mode. So let's just grab all these faces, move, and then just push it a little bit closer. So it's perfect. All right. 
now we can uh, create this part over here. Make a box. And we'll move this guy all the way over here. Uh, this should be good. Let's just put it here. Uh, make it a new body. We can actually, these guys, we can actually move. I mean, we already have the length now, so we can just move this all the way here. Should be good. All right. So let's just get the shape done. Select. This is the cutting profile and delete that. You can move this guy a little bit closer, but the circular for this the circular cutout will kind of do all the, the work for us, so we can just um, join it. There you go. Well, and then I think let's get the shape in here as well. So circular diameter so yep looks about right inwards and we'll so if we look at the the shape this should be splitting right about here we can always you know just make this a little bit bigger and it will automatically just close that for us so it's a little bit bigger but it's all right oh shit that's a lot bigger so let's uh i think let's get this right so move this guy make another one just a little bit bigger and we can just trim this guy out we don't need this guy and let's extrude backwards and this should be a lot better come on grab this face it's all right I can just push this a little bit further. And this is a little bit annoying. Okay. And there we go. Should be good. We have the top side as well, so now we can just jump through this. This edge needs to be a little bit bigger, but I think we're all right. So. make this uh, this is an angle So we have that chamfer over there. So 
So it needs to be bigger to smaller. Keep that angle. So we just have a little bit of a lip. Okay, cool. Looks good enough. Uh, we can chamfer this this point or fillet that at this point and then we can actually make this a new body make it a little bit smaller because we can use that for making this guy and the top side because they're both the same so you can just grab this body make a copy of it, so control C, control V. Use the move tool, select the bottom face, rotate it 90 degrees, and then we'll use the move tool again, get it in the center, and I'll activate the origin again. Push on that axis, hold down, and YZ. And now we can just use this guy, move it downwards, so about there. And that's good. So now we can just select these two. Cut. We'll do that separately then. Just make this guy a little bit bigger. So you'll see it has this gap. Um, actually, it doesn't really matter because what we'll do is, uh, if you look at the reference, let me just get this guy over here. It has a little bit of that cut up and then we have this block that will have to go through there as well so doesn't really matter too much but we know that it needs to be a little bit bigger as well so we can just do this that's fine I think at this point we can actually let's hide the origin again we can actually combine these two now because there's no we don't have to do anything symmetrical on both sides anymore like we pretty much have the main shape now. We'll obviously have to build that still. Um, this cut out here, but yeah, nothing big. So let's cut this guy over here. Make a box. So cut all the way through. All right, <coughs> just make sure that when we select the height that it's done nicely. See, uh, this obviously happens because we didn't cut it all the way through. I'll just delete it and it will just adapt to the extrude that we made. Let's see, do we want to bring those edges in? Nope. So that's all good. Now we can actually duplicate. Actually, should have kept the original. See if the align tool will actually work. Actually, we don't have to. We're not going to do that yet. Let's let's make that first. But before we do that, let's just get this profile sorted first. So well, again, we'll use the line tool, and then move it all the way downwards let's cut it like so finish let's use this opportunity to move this guy into place as well so right there should be good and now we can just use the splitting tool again select that line and we can just fill it Yeah. 
No. All right. Here we go. So basically, I have the main shapes down now. We can really start making some cool stuff now, or just get the additional stuff in. <clears throat> so let's make this guy over here. All right, quickly had to run. So um, <clears throat> let's get back to this. So we'll create um, a shape over here. We'll use the revolve for this guy. So let's uh, create that shape. Um, do that. Oh, this should be good. And sketch. And then we can use the revolve tool. So let's select your profile, select the axes, or in this case, the x axes. There you go. So what's the problem here? Okay, so I think what the problem is, what we'll do is we'll just do this. Um, it will have a little bit of a hole in it, but but we can just delete that hole so it fills itself again. So <coughs> profile and then axes. Oh, that's all we want. Profile, axes, and then new body. Select the edges inside and delete. And we have fold the hole. Now we can use the align tool. So we'll use uh, align tool, grab the metal part of this, or the metal of the back face, and we'll align to this face over here. Hmm. That's interesting. There we go. All right. So we have that shape. Uh, we can create. Just make this a new body. Control C, Control V. So we copy it and just have another one. And then we can just join them. Join. Now we have that shape. Let's isolate. We have this. Just move it a little bit backwards because and isolate. If you look at the reference, there is actually something underneath this cap. Uh, we're not going to model that, but you can see that it has this piece. So that's that's like a rubber um, O-ring, uh, and then it has this metal piece. So this is where you adjust. Um, this is like the adjustment dials. So you can take off this cap, and then you can turn it around and adjust. But so we'll have we'll make that ring and that side as well. So let's just get this out of the way again. We can actually do this two ways. Um, we can actually move this all the way back. And then we can use a line tool to split the body. So let's do that. Line, finish. And then it split it along that line. So now we have two, two bodies. Select that face underneath. Pull this back a little. It's just chamfer. And 
and then you can grab this face, extrude like this new body. Grab that face, grab this face, we're all good. And we can just use the chamfer tool. There you go. Nothing too weird or to worry about. Um, I do think that this is a little bit too thin now. So what we can do is we'll just, again, lift this guy out a little bit and then Grab this, align it to that, oh, align it to that face over there. And then we can grab this guy, this guy, this guy. Move them inward. And we should be golden. And now we can actually duplicate that as well. So we'll grab all these guys. As that are in here. I'll hide this. Quick key as V. Upwards. We can actually bring this back in now. Move. Any degrees. Move tool, make sure that it's in the center, and we can activate the origin. Oops, at the center of this again. Make sure to unselect the pivot point, and then we'll just align it to the YZ again. And now they're in the middle, and then we can just grab these guys and move them inward. Should be good. And then we obviously do not want that. Let's hide the origin again. So what I want to do is we actually have to build the housing for this as well. So where this guy goes in there. So what I want to do is let's uh Make a cut, select this body. We'll say keep tools. Let's hide this guy as well. And then delete that rim real quick. And then we'll use chamfering tool. Like that. Let's do this is an angle and then you can get a nice interesting angle. Obviously we can't put push this too far. I actually want this guy to move in a little bit deeper. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Let's, uh, that's fine. Let's just do a 45 degree chamfer. It doesn't really matter too much. And then we can just bring these guys back in. And there you have that top shape. <coughs> so way back, we actually made uh, the circular shape for this, this dial here as well. So we can actually just create a cylinder from that. Huh, that's weird. We'll just use a sketch. Where is that sketch? We actually save that sketch. Here it is. There you go. So now, just extrude from there. New body. It's good to go. Let's see how far. So, uh, why is that not snapped to the base? That's weird. Oh yeah, because we moved this whole thing. Okay, makes sense. Now we have to make a chamfer. Get that shape. So it's chamfer. So now we're gonna use chamfer and angle 
we could have used revolve as well but I wanted the exact diameter so I can chamfer all the way so I want that and then we'll just use that angle yeah I like that I think that's good and then use the line tool that's good and that's good I want to grab this guy object mode come on am I missing something? tool so we just want to grab these faces because it has to go downwards or it has to be a different diameter so that's fine we can use chamfer tool again for these we'll just do like a small 45 chamfer again like I said we're not gonna do any knurling or anything on it we can do that in texturing or you can you can do it as well if you want to you can explore some options I'll do a video later on um, that goes over it but we're not going to do it for this tutorial we'll just do this and then we can just combine all of these again so join and now we need to create this guy so we'll use the center rectangle grab the center here I'd say this looks pretty good let's go back to the creation center center rectangle press E Uh, it's giving me a hard time now. Select the face, select the center. E. So yeah, just be cautious about where where that uh, drawing plane is that you select. Otherwise, it will make extrusion uh, pain. So good. Let's just jam through these. All right, and then you can just rotate it. It seems like just needs to be a tiny little bit thicker, so I'll just. delete these chamfers All right doesn't really matter we have that screw line now again if you want to center just double click the middle mouse button and it will center so we basically have the main shape uh, now we can just work on getting these uh, lens caps extruded so back to the rear view clicked on the center and then let's get this guy extruded 
a little bit. Let's make this new body. I think it should be good. Yeah. All right. So one thing that I actually did forget is let's let's uh, hide this guy real quick. It's so actually. As you can see, that we'll use we'll have to use a sphere to get this cut out over here. Didn't mean to rhyme there. Sphere. Let's select the center. Make a new body. Select it. Oh. I'm gonna make this real big. And just see what we're doing. Select the sphere, opacity control, 50%. So, looks about right. Keep tools, we'll do an intersection. Move the sphere. Uh, where is that cutting line? I can't see it. Oh, there we go. That's also good. So let's select this body. Select sphere. This time we don't want to keep the tools because I don't. I have no need for the sphere anymore. Let's see, I just want to see on the reference like how far we should take this cut. Um, does it actually cut all the way through? I can't really see. Oh, it it doesn't. Um, let's see. This is the wrong side. Hmm. I don't have reference that exactly has that side. It it does cut a little bit deeper. It seems. See this need like a, a bit of a cut line. Um, so it seems like we'll have to cut it a little bit deeper. So let's select this. Um, just move it a little bit forward. Just a little bit. That's good. And now we do that. Keep the tools. Basically do exactly the same thing. Good stuff. Good time to save. <coughs> All right. Let's get back into this. Getting these lens caps made. So. Your body. So we have the one. Actually, delete that guy. We don't need it anymore. We'll just make her own. <laughs> make another one. Make this a uh, new body. Extrude it. I would say that. Let's see on the reference. Let's do this. I think that's fine. And then just. Offset tool, O on your keyboard, select the edge, and then we'll select, let's see. Uh, so it seems like it has this room and then it comes in a little bit and then, so I think that's good. Let's uh, select the objects to cut just itself. I think it's just this guy, yeah. Select this face, O. Select its edge. Makes this a little bit of this lip over here. And then we'll just split it with that line. Late. I can actually split this whole body.
bring this up. Move this all the way through and cut. I don't want to keep the tools. All right. I think that cut that we made here was a little bit too deep. Um, <clears throat> so we'll obviously just, we can move these. Let's just do that right now. Hide these bodies. Hide. Okay, it's really easy. We'll just grab this guy. Doesn't really matter. We can we can fix that a little bit later. I'm not gonna spend too much time on it. I want to get these lens caps in and everything. So um, <clears throat> let's make the front. I don't think we need these canvases anymore. We'll use it, we'll obviously need it to get the the length, but that's pretty much it. I just wanna get in front here. So from what I can see, the front is basically all the way here. This whole thing, and it has. Whoop! We don't want that. It will have three extrusions. Oh no, we don't want to join. I just want to grab this, make a new body, bring back the canvases. <coughs> Should be good. Use the line tool, make one cut, and another cut will be around here. Finish, and then split. That's good. Then we want to chamfer this edge. Let's see, that's our right. right, and then We'll use the slot to get these slots in there. So just hide the canvas. Let's do a slot in the middle. Yeah, let's do it in the middle. And then we'll rotate it. Seems like it goes in a little bit. I'm gonna have to move. Make it a new body. Let's make this a little bit thinner, like so. Okay. Come on, select it. There you go. Let's rotate. I mean, should we get move? So it seems like these these rounded edges they have to move upwards. Um, it seems like from the reference, it 
yeah, it should be something like that. Okay, let's create the slots again. So let's make slot. A center to center slot. Should be good. Move your body. And then V. Actually, you know what? We can actually do this more accurately. Let's use the symmetry tool. Use the X, Z, and then move, rotate. Move. And cut. So you have that shape in there. We have those edges split it. So now pretty much you can bolt the lenses from here. I think it's time so we I think it's time that we <coughs> fix these screw lines so if I bring this in these screw lines we can get those in um, so actually it seems like what we miss here is that it has these this angle here we don't we don't have that let's get back here yeah it seems like we do not have that Grab offset tool. It's offset pretty much on the same height here. I'll extrude in a little bit and then chamfer tool. Oh, that's fine. And we can just grab this. Actually, you know. Offset tool, grab this edge, we'll do that. And then chamfer. And now we just need to grab that face that's underneath this and move it all the way over there. Actually, see if we can. Grab that face, move it over there. And done. All right, so type in thread like this make this modeled not sure about which one is to select here
Така. Yes, that's not right. I never never know which ones to take here. Always play around with the ones that fit or looks. I don't think that's the correct thread, um, but you get the idea. So there is a thread. You can make a helix if you want to yourself and cut it out or get the correct thread, but we're not, obviously not making something that's completely accurate. So, And then now we just need to create the lenses. Oh. So create a cylinder. Make this a new body. Let's uh, hide this guy. Pressing V to hide. Okay, so we can just see the lens that we're making. Bring a sphere. So I think this should be good. Almost as, yeah, pretty much the same profile, so. Select this guy and this guy. Isolate. B, cut, select this. Uh, let's see, intersect, keep tools, and then move this guy out a little and there we have a lens and isolate Redo, redo. Oops. and move this guy inwards. I would say at this point you're pretty much done. Oh, we can leave that guy there. So yeah, pretty much done. Uh, let's just get this guy back in. So this would be the aim point D2. Uh, obviously there are holes that you can cut in here to, to match uh, with the, the leap mount and you can use the same techniques that 
we have used in this tutorial to do that yourself I'm not gonna do that no point you won't ever see it anyway but what we can do is we can just make it align a little bit better to the actual mount so if we unhide this we can make sure that these guys align a little bit better to the mount itself and then we can just chamfer or fill it these a little and that's it pretty much done so if you liked it give it a thumbs up there is a donation button as well so if you wanna if this helped you out and you want to buy me coffee there is a link for that as well in the description um, otherwise yeah hope that you learned a little bit from here it's a little tutorial and um, yeah easy all right see you in the next video